All right, 2022. Happy New Year, kind of, it's February, but we made it. Here is your Hawaii trip planning for 2022. As our newsletter subscribers know, we live and breathe Hawaii tourism, looking at the data, what's happened, especially the last few years. So I don't wanna say these are the predictions for 2022, but definitely lessons learned that we've had to help you with your Hawaii trip planning for 2022. We've learned not to make predictions because it, the last few years. Let's jump into this because you will need this for your trip planning this year. Here are our seven tips to help you plan your 2022 trip to Hawaii. Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Erica. And this is the Hawaii Vacation Guide. Number one, the only COVID update you will need for all of 2022. This is what it's gonna look like for the entire year. <laughs> I am oh, kidding. <laughs> I wish that was so true. But what we know right now is a self, uh, the travel program, the Hawaii Safe Travels program. So there's two ways to come in. If you're unvaccinated, you can take a negative COVID test within 72 hours of departure. If you're vaccinated, you can upload your vaccine card to the Safe Travels website. But there are likely changes coming, maybe many changes coming this year. So the best thing you can do is stay informed, head to our website. We have a link down below in the description because we keep it up to date with everything you need to know. And bonus, every county has its own rules. So you're gonna need to know those before you come. It's the worst bonus ever. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true, they do have differences. One big one is they still have the mask mandate in effect. I can see that going on for quite a while. Mm -hmm. So a mask is required indoors. And we're gonna be referencing things in the description quite a bit. So if you're on mobile, click the title and that'll open that up the, up the description to get to all these great links and articles we're referring to. But the thing you need to know right now for planning for 2022 is there is still a quarantine in effect. So there are two ways to bypass it. You need to know those two ways and which one applies to you. And then when you come out here, there is a mask mandate still in effect when you are indoors and there are county by county restrictions. You got to know it all. Description below. Good summer. Thank you. Number two, do you need a rental car when you come to Hawaii this year? So we always give the advice, if you're staying in Waikiki, you can get by without a rental car. There's great public transportation like the bus, the Waikiki trolley, mopeds and scooters. There's tons of ways to get around Oahu without a rental car. But if you wanna see the whole island, and that goes for the other islands also, it's best to get in a rental car. Yes, so if you're visiting Maui, Kauai, or the big island, you will probably want a rental car to get around. It's just gonna make your trip that much easier. We don't know what this summer's gonna be like, but 2021 was a great rental car crisis or shortage on the islands. So there wasn't enough rental cars, so prices skyrocketed. So what we recommend is to book early for that rental car. We don't know what 2022 is gonna look like. And one of our favorite websites to book through is Discount Hawaii Car Rental. We have saved hundreds, thousands yeah. of dollars renting cars through this website over the years. And it's great because you don't have to prepay and it's very flexible. Also, look into local companies too. Number three, how much does a trip to Hawaii cost in 2022? We track this every year. It's kind of fun to run an estimate for it. So for a family of four staying in Waikiki for 10 days in June, right now the price is looking to be about 12 thousand dollars for that trip that is a lot because compared to last year it was nine thousand dollars so we're seeing some big price increases there so now if you are factoring price into your trip and you want to make sure you're getting the most bang for your buck not all islands cost the same so the cheapest hawaiian island to visit is actually oahu you have the best options for some more budget priced accommodations and activities and the most expensive island to visit is maui yeah our home here on maui the resorts are really expensive mm -hmm. so that accommodations will be your biggest cost so just factor that in when you're planning your vacation and number four how far in advance should you book your trip Early is our motto. Even though we don't always follow our own advice, we got to book our big island trip. <laughs> but we do recommend book as soon as possible. Once you know your itinerary and what, what you want to do in the major activities, go online and book it. Especially if you don't have to prepay for your rental car through discount quality car rental, you can easily cancel a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Number five, eat local. Once you're here, really plan on going out and trying the local cuisine. There is so much great Asian fusion, Pacific, Hawaiian cuisine all coming together here. It is really a treat to go out and eat. Plus, it's a great way to support local businesses. So just like pretty much everywhere else, there is a staffing shortage right now. So there, 
some of the restaurants might be understaffed so you might experience some longer waits you might have a tough time getting reservations so that ties into our last tip of booking early if it needs a reservation book early there's a lot of great restaurants where you don't need a reservation for like food trucks are a wonderful thing to go out maui kwai especially have some great food truck options but they all they all have great food trucks and i have to say our very favorite place to go out and sample all the different restaurants and fun places is honolulu so if you are heading to oahu make sure you go downtown it's a great vibe number six is see the can't miss site so obviously you are probably going to want some beach time because hawaii has some outstanding beaches that is the truth but there is so much more to experience once you get here so whether it is going to pearl harbor or iolani palace or hiking up a volcano or swimming with manta rays which is pretty epic <laughs> plan to do something extra so just know what you want to see and i'm going to be a broken record here book it early don't be like us who need to really go book some things right now. Um, book early, know what you wanna see, know what you wanna do, and make sure you have the opportunity to do that when you come out here. If you are trying to figure out what you wanna do when you come out here, we have so many resources for you. Head to the hawaiivacationguide.com. We have a link down in the profile. We have all of our recommended tours and activities, the can't miss things, we have island guides. We have got you covered. Head there. Number seven, bring reef-friendly sunscreen. This is a big one. So first of all, minimize the amount of sunscreen you put on. We always recommend bringing sun protective clothing. We actually have a packing list down below too for Hawaii to help you out. We recommend mineral-based sunscreen. Studies have shown that damages the reefs the least amount is what they know right now. It's sure it gets a little thick to put on, but that's the best one to put on. Best for the reefs, protect them for future generations. And we have a bonus, don't we? We do, but first, Check out our itineraries with great things to do. Plus, we have eight more tips for your trip planning. Once again, link is in the description below. So the bonus is the Hawaii experiences. When you're here, make sure you get some unique Hawaii experiences. Coming all the way across the Pacific to this unique island chain, go outrigger canoeing, visit a Polynesian museum, Polynesian Cultural Center, even for a luau, you know? Just find something different, unique to spend the day doing. Heck, even going to a food truck and having a Hawaiian plate lunch is something you can write home about. And if you need help planning your Hawaii vacation, we have got you covered. Head to the hawaiivacationguide.com slash itineraries because we have itineraries for every island that are gonna take you on excursion days so you can head around and see all of the best sites without backtracking. And hey, we said book early and we tell you what you need to book and by when. You're gonna have a great trip to Hawaii in 2022. Enjoy it. Hit subscribe because we'll continue to give updates on how the travel scene is changing here for 2022. Thanks for watching. Thank you.